Most of my friends are a little bit terrified by me now. <laughs> Sit back down. No, he Sit needs down. Catherine's a formidable character. What level of personal confidence does it take to play a role like this? She terrified me, not as in the character terrified me, but the idea of making sure that I got every beat in her story, it did scare me because there was a lot of, of work that needed to be done. The most important thing for me was making sure that I made a character where we could see, we could visibly see the change in her. She goes from girl to woman and we see her evolution. Um, we also love her and that was, something that played in the, in the script and, and knew that that was going to be tricky but interesting to achieve, so, yeah. Was it hard to speak in the dialogue, in the regional Geordie accent? What's the most difficult accent you've ever done? <laughs> uh, this was definitely the hardest one to tap into, but when you got it, I got it. So, you know, I can whip out Northumberland whenever. <laughs> we didn't just want Geordie, we wanted something that had a bit of a country twang in it as well and that was something that became even going as far as shopping around Sainsbury's and asking people how they said berries or, <laughs> or mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think this will mark a change in what people expect from period filmmaking? People have said this feels a bit radical and just that it happens to be said in the past. I think the characters we created were ones we wanted to see. It was quite playful in the terms in which we made it and the rehearsals that we had beforehand were very important. I think those elements keep it feeling quite fresh. I think what's also very interesting to note is Will and the sound guys basically decided that they wanted um, sounds to be very much a theme of the film. So when we went in to go and do ADR, uh, we would basically record throughout the whole film of, of Catherine's breath. So I would be breathing along to each scene and making sure it matched with what I was doing. Uh, automatically that makes you closer to her and it makes you in her head, which means that her story is now your story. And little things like that you do, that you don't think you're picking up, you are. So as a result, at the end, you have been so entwined with her, it makes the bond, I suppose, that bit closer. What are the challenges of casting a murderess that people are happy to watch? <laughs> so you've got to cast somebody who is optimistic and hopeful and full of joy and love, who goes into this extreme situation where she's basically told, you're going to be a house prisoner. You can't go outside. Oh, by the way, you can't read a book, you can't play the piano, you can't have any friends. Well, then you've got to ask, well, if you're going to be down to these things, what are the extremes that you would are prepared to go to. Florence, your character, becomes very dark because of such oppression. What personally pushes you to your limits? Oh, God. <laughs> um, what pushes me to my limits? Is in, in this day and age? Yeah, yeah, for you personally. <laughs> oh, I tell you what really gets me going is awful coffees. I don't know why, it really gets me. Don't kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I won't kill anyone. It does frustrate me that no one can make a good coffee. Yeah. It really does get me going. <laughs>